A cancer diagnosis can be devastating, and as a teenager, it can also be shocking, not just for the teen, but for the entire family. And in tonight's Positive Vibes, Jenny Hansen looks at how candle lighters has continued to support those families during the pandemic and how they're raising money this month. Lydia, uh, she was a sophomore in high school, and she's a very driven, hardworking student. But that spring, that 2011, she was always tired. It turned out Lydia Tam had a brain tumor. I was always the healthiest one in the family <laughs> before this, and yeah, it just really shocked all of us. Lydia's family traveled from their home in Eugene to Dornbecker Children's Hospital for treatments, and that was when they were introduced to candle lighters. And the first thing I see when I walk into the room is a stuffed animal on the bed. And there's a little tag that says this is a gift from candle lighters for children with cancer. And, you know, like the first thought I had was, wow, this is great. Um, it's like a bedside buddy is what they call it. And this is a gift that I can give to my baby sister who was five at the time. Candlelighters make sure the whole family is taken care of during cancer treatments for children. From food to gas to financial assistance with rent or mortgage payments and special events that connect families going through cancer. Lydia's story is in their Cancer Warrior fundraiser video this month, a campaign called Light the Way that hopes to raise $75,000 for the nonprofit. Lydia is cancer free and a medical student at Stanford with a scholarship partially funded by Candlelighters. She plans to pay it forward and become a pediatric oncologist. I want to give back in a way and become someone that can take care of kids with brain tumors. Jenny Hansen, Coin6 News. And you can donate now to Light the Way campaign. It breaks down exactly how your donation will be used to help families. There's a link to that at coin.com.